Hello, welcome to Elsa Workflows introduction video. My name is Vahid. As you may know, Elsa is an open source .NET standard workflows library. It's a powerful tool for managing and automating many kinds of processes. It consists of many parts, but in general, it has a workflow engine, an API, and a UI with a decent workflow designer. In this video, we are going to look at how we can get up and running with Elsa workflows and create a basic sample of its use case. Let's start by creating a simple ASP.NET MVC project in Visual Studio and create the workflow. We use the ASP.NET MVC project template, uh, name the project and choose .NET 7 as our framework. Uh, now let's just run the project to see if it's working as expected. Change the directory and use that net run to run the project. Okay, and it's working. Now let's add the required NuGet packages. Uh, we need to install Elsa Core. Yeah, we accept it. And for our uh, sample project, we install Elsa Server API. It's uh, version 2.9 at this time. And Elsa Workflows Components Web. Now let's add the required. Now we need to configure Elsa in our project. Add Elsa and its API to the services. Okay, to see the designer, the workflow designer, we should add a, we add a controller. We name it, uh, let's say, Elsa dashboard controller. All right. Now we add a view. Elsa dashboard here to just check if it's working. Now let's add, let's uh, create a link to that view so we can have access to it from the home page. We add another menu to the project. Mm -hmm. And name it Delsa Dashboard. Now we can use that .NET Watch to see the result. Seems like uh, we should have restored the packages we just installed. Let's use that .NET Watch to run the project and we can make changes and see the results. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have our menu and our pages showing. Let's see uh, how to add the dashboard web components to, the, to our page. Here is the sample for the dashboard in the documentation. Uh, let's copy these and it's the CSS files and the script files that we need for the web components for the dashboard. Uh, we just paste them here. 
now we need this this uh, web component we copy this to all right we should uh, provide the server address that we can provide copy this address and paste it here yeah all right let's see what's happening yeah we have something here but it's not showing correctly let's see what's wrong the table in CSS is not uh, loaded I'm not sure why this is happening maybe I should open an issue for this but let's see if it works if I make it to load from a CDN I replace this pad with the CDN pad for the tailwind let's save it and see if it's working just fine all right we don't have any errors now but we can't see the dashboard yet we need to uh, as you can see we just added the uh, uh elsa elsa dashboard root we need to add another web component that is elsa studio so we need to add elsa studio dash dashboard yeah now yeah it has changed but not yet what we expected uh we need to add its uh, DLC Studio CSS2 so let's add that one too mm -hmm. okay we now have our dashboard that we can see we have workflow definitions add new and it's the workflow designer that we can add activities and the stuff we need to design a workflow all right now let's create a hello world using http activities let's first stop the execution now let's add the required nuget packages we need the uh, elsa http activities we install it now let's add the HTTP activities to Elsa options and then add it to to the pipeline we need that because we want to handle HTTP requests now let's run it again using dotnet run great now let's refresh the page to see the activities are added to the UI click on start HTTP category and add an HTTP endpoint we define a path HTTP test and save it and then we create an HTTP response we just uh, need a simple response hello world and set the status to ok and now let's publish it okay now let's test it with the 
address view set HTTP test and we get the hello world great and we have our hello world with Elsa thank you for watching